Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question number 17 from the May June 2019 Edexcel IGCSE Mathematics A 4MA1, the, the higher paper, paper 2 higher. And this question here is a question about variation. And we're told here that y is directly proportional to the cube of x, to the cube of x, which means x cubed. That means y is directly proportional to x cubed. Now the proportional sign can be replaced by equals k times x cubed. So we know that y is equal to k, a constant, times x cubed. All right. So they told us that y is 20h when x is h and h can't be 0. Find a formula for y in terms of x and h. So when we have directly proportional, you have y equals k times the thing it's proportional to. If it said inversely proportional, we would say y equals k divided by x cubed. But this is not inversely, it's directly. So if it says proportional, directly proportional, varies as, varies proportionally as, all of those mean directly proportional. If you see the word inversely proportional or varies inversely as, then you have to put k over the thing that it's proportional to. All right, so now we can use this pair of values to find what k is in terms of um, x and h, right? Because the answer is going to be in terms of x and h. So they told us that y is equal to 20h, while x is equal to h. So we have 20h equals k times h cubed. So we got 20h divided by h cubed is equal to k. That cubed is only for the h. One of those will cancel out from the top and the bottom. So we're left with 20 over h squared equals k. So we now know the value of k, and now we can write down the formula that connects y and x. Okay, y in terms of x and h. So we can replace the k here with 20 over h squared times x cubed. So you have y equals 20x cubed over h squared. That is the formula which connects y to x in terms of x and h. Okay, so we have that formula. Then it says, part b says, find x in terms of h when y is equal to 667.5h. So now we have the formula that connects them together, which is y equals 20x cubed over h squared they've told us to find y okay uh, sorry to find x when y is equal to when y is equal to 67.5 h so i'm going to replace the y with 67.5 h and i'm going to solve this now for the x so you got 20 x cubed over h squared is equal to 67.5 h for multiply both sides by h we have 67.5 times h cubed equals 20x cubed. We can divide both sides by 20. So we're left with, if we divide both sides by 20, we've got 67.5h cubed over 20 equals x cubed. Okay, 67.5 over 20. Um, what will that give us? Let's work that out. That's going to be 675 over 200 okay um i think what goes into both of those four goes into this uh, sorry 25 goes into this four times and 25 goes into 600 well 25 goes into 100 four times so therefore into 600 it goes into um another uh six times so that's 24 and then you've got um another three so i think it's 27 over 4 27 over 4 let me just make sure i'm in the non-calculator mode from my gcse paper one six seven five over let's put it in as it is 67.5 over 20. that gives us 27 over eight, eight. sorry not four eight 100 divided by 25 is four 200 divided by 25 is of course 8 so it's 27 over 8 sorry so we can say x cubed is equal to 27 over 8 
times h cubed so x is going to be the cube root of all of this okay and we know that we can see that 27 is a cube number 8 is a cube number the cube root of 27 is 3 the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of h cubed is h so x equals 3 over 2 h and that's the answer okay give your answer in its simplest form in terms of x x in terms of h so x in terms of h 3 over 2 h 1.5 h if you want but that is the answer to this question so it's basically a, a typical variation question with a little twist that they've given the uh, values in terms of a, a constant right like in terms of h here so normally you would just have y in terms of x right you find k as a number they'll give you y and x as numbers here they're giving you them in terms of um, a constant h which you then can you know express the answer in terms of so it's the same exact procedure that we uh, follow for a simple type of question where you you know form the equation y equals k times you know the what is proportional to put the values of x and y in there find what k is get your formula which connects y and x and then they'll give you another value of y like they did here and you've got to find the value of x when y is at so the same procedure except you've got this h hanging around here now um, because it's in terms of that so don't get scared by these things you follow exactly the same procedure as one of the simpler questions it's just you've got the h to consider so i hope that was clear other questions from this paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of this video other questions from the topic of variation um, from my edexcel um, igcse collection will be found in the playlist over here the Cambridge variation questions um, will be collected in the playlist on this side over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.